Hello, I'm Asia Williams, and before I start today, I would like to say a little thank you can go a long way. So, you've cried for help, and we're here to answer. Me and my group, we came up with three approaches of how Fresh to Order can increase their business with existing customers. The three approaches that we came up with is using the free, free, the free advertisement of social media, customer connection by making experiences more personable, and getting involved with their community by doing weekly event proposals. So you may wonder, how did we find these approaches? We actually conducted a survey on SurveyMonkey and received 85 responses. With these responses, these three questions stuck out the most to us. Our first question is, would you prefer a friend to fresh to order? 81% responded yes. Our second question is, when an associate knows your name, does that make your experience more personable? 97% responded yes. And our third question is, do you follow any food places on social media? 59% responded yes. As you can see with these questions, customer involvement really does matter. So, with a little, with a little of our research that was done, we noticed that the Twitter for uh, Fresh to Order, the last time that they updated that was this summer, which isn't really good. So, we suggest that Fresh to Order use the free website Hootsuite. With Hootsuite, Basically, you can have multiple of your multiple outlets where you can put one post and that one post can be downloaded into all of your outlets. So they won't have to worry about exactly, oh my God, we have to update our Twitter, we have to update our Facebook, we have to update our Instagram. They can use Hootsuite, which can update all of that at once. Also, with Hootsuite, it also shows you how what customers are saying about your uh, it shows you what customers are saying about your brand, which is really good for fresh to order because they need to know what customers how they feel about them. And then also a reason why we're suggesting social media, because social media reaches out almost to everyone. And it is free. So basically it's the most cost effective. We have foodie photos, where we suggest that they should post on their social media pages. So we suggest that they post pictures, post deals, post locations, and post your customers. So we have a customer that has a picture of our food. We would suggest them probably to tag us in it so we'll be able to see it. So right here, I have my social media do's and don'ts. So to the left, we have Fresh to Order, which has 644 followers, which is great. But then to the right, I have Panera Bread, which is our top competitor. They have 385 followers. That's great as well. So, as you can see with Panera Bread, they have a verified symbol right here. The verified symbol basically shows that this is a verified account by Instagram. Panera Bread has that, but Fresh to Order doesn't. So, what we would suggest is that Fresh to Order gets their, ver their, account, their accounts verified. And another thing that I noticed is that Fresh to Order does not have one single social media page that's solely just for fresh to order. They have multiple accounts. So when people are actually looking up fresh to order, they're seeing different different accounts and their approaches and appearances are all different. So it's not consistent throughout the platform. So what we would suggest is that fresh to order make one Twitter page, one Instagram page, or one Facebook page so people can know exactly where to go. Also, with the pictures, Panera Bread pictures, they focus more on their food. So they take pictures, appealing pictures of their food. Fresh to Order is focusing more on advertisement of how, like the different promotions that they have going on, which is great, but we want to focus more on how the pictures are looking, on how the pictures are looking of the food. So we want customers to go on our page and see how great our food looks, so they'll know when they go to Fresh to Order, this is what they can get. So we will probably so with once we get that account verified and have that one account, we can have the pictures posted on our page of food and actually probably customers eating the food that are tagged that have taken pictures with our food and this will make it really good for people to want to go to our stores or oh, not stores I'm sorry restaurants. So also following that slide, we have social media engagement. So, I also think it would be a great idea for Fresh to Order to actually come up with a hashtag. 
So throughout their restaurants, they can have flyers and posters saying follow us on such and such social media page. And with that, they can have their hashtag on there. So when people enter their hashtag onto their social media, it'll direct them straight to our Instagram or Twitter or Facebook page. Also, with these hashtags, if people are saying different things about our brand, we're actually able to go immediately see what people are saying about us. So this is really good because we're able to respond to our customers and this will show them that we actually care about what they're saying. And for an example, we have how Wendy's, uh, Carter Wilkerson, he actually commented to Wendy's, with tagged Wendy's and said, how many retweets for a year of free chicken nuggets? And Wendy's actually responded back to him and said 18 million. Carter Wilkerson got 18 million retweets and he has now a free chick a free uh, I'm sorry a free year of chicken nuggets. So next, our second approach, the importance of making your customer feel important. So me personally, when I go into restaurants, I like when the associates they greet me by name or they know the meals that I like if I'm a continuing customer. So we feel that customers will actually feel more comfortable to go to the actual restaurant and make it feel that it's more personable if the person knows their name or know what meal that they like. So we feel that it would be good for the associates to, to start learning um, the customer's names and making the experience more personable. So with our third approach, we have community involvement. So we have three different events that we feel that would be kind of good um, in our community. So we have Tuesday Trivia Night, Wednesday Business Networking Mixer, and Friday College Night. So Tuesday Trivia Night, for an example, we can have something like a Taco Tuesday, well not Taco Tuesday, like something similar to Taco Tuesday or $2, mar $2 Margarita Tuesday, how different other restaurants have. But we would have it with the dishes that we serve in our restaurant. So with two, um, Tuesday Trivia Night, we can actually have it where uh, customers can come in and they can bring friends. So this will actually bring in new customers, which can soon become existing customers. With Tuesday Trivia Night, they'll be able to play games, win different um, prizes, and possibly get things off their meals. So some of the body, insights, body behavior insights that we came up with um, is that motivational research and consumption motives. A lot of people like to have the status winning. So they like to be able to feel confident and know that, okay, when I go to first to order tonight, I am going to win a game so I can get me a free meal or I could possibly get half off on this or just to be around people that they actually like being around. And then um, the brand personality. While we're actually playing these games, we can post this. So people that are not familiar with our uh, restaurant, they'll see that we hold different events like this and that people are actually coming out to it. So, we as a group, we feel that social media, social media and um, customer involvement and actually doing community involvement will enhance the business with existing customers with fresh to order. And then also, we didn't mention this, but we do feel that location does play a big part in fresh to order and how the customers are viewing it. So for me, an example, I love Fresh to Order, and when I go to the Buckhead location, Fresh to Order, you have to pay for the locate, you have to pay for parking, and then you also have to pay for um, different other things. You have to pay for your meal, for your lunch. So someone who is actually doing maybe like a 20 minute or a 30 minute break, or maybe an hour, they might not want to pay for parking. So I feel that actually making a location where people are able to go to and access it a little more easy and not having to pay for parking, possibly having their own parking lot would be a great idea. All right. Thank you.